Many people came together to celebrate and experience the Taino culture through an artistic journey on canvas, sculpture, and theater with their family and friends. This all started with a series of workshops that we did. Um, we decided that we, we wanted to do something cultural, something that kind of brings the community together. And we also wanted to learn more about our, our culture, you know. So, um, we decided to have these workshops and from there we decided that we were going to have a closing ceremony. So what you're witnessing right now is the culmination of all of that. You know, we, we basically collaborated with um, NYU VAU and decided they were going to take part, they were going to take care of the gallery and we were going to take care of the ceremony and here we are. I feel that for us to understand what our mission is, we have to know where we come from. And I think our children are the answer to, are the solution to the problem which is giving them back, the, giving them the baton, you know, learning, learning our, our language, the Arawak Taino language, knowing how, you know, we came about. It's a beautiful thing, and uh, I think that the importance of that is stopping the indoctrination and continuing the education. The event consisted of a short theater performance followed by a gallery of artists who were inspired to make art based on Taino and Latin culture. Local vendors were also given the opportunity to sell some of their merchandise at the event. My work here is the, called the uh, Bejigante Mass or Diablo Mass depending on which country in the Caribbean. These masks you see, um, they celebrate these masks during the time of the Festival de Santiago or the Festival of St. James. Um, this was a way during the Spanish um, Inquisition against the Moors in Spain. This was a one of the early uh, propaganda against the Moors. The explorers, the so-called founder of the New World, came over with the celebration. We internalized that negative and confrontation into something positive to where we use these masks now as a way of uh, liberation um, from oppression. The jubilation was in honor of the Taino ancestors and never forgetting their struggles. It's really important that the children and the youngsters go back and understand their history. So it's almost like a little history lesson in a sense, you know, uh, the similarity of the words that belong to our people, Taino people, uh, like the word babacoa, barbecue, hamaca, uh, tabacu, tobacco. There's many words that are in the Spanish dictionary today that belong to us. So hopefully by continuing to do this uh, programs and working with the children that we can see larger crowd, more people involved. Founders of the event hope to keep the cultural history of Latinos alive by continuing to educate people on the importance of Taino and African culture. I'm Christina Lane, reporter for BronxNet.